Dear fellows and colleagues, here is another case depicting the importance of a good, efficient, direct chopping technique. I have noticed that beginner surgeons these days tend to be really confused about which chopping technique to go about. Educational institutions these days usually start with teaching the resident how to make a trench first going to 90% of the depth of the nucleus and then using your FACO probe and your chopper to split the nucleus in two and then using the direct chop technique to split the heminuclei in two. What I feel is in my career of 10,000 plus cataract surgeries all of them topical ones I have never ever performed a single case with trenching or sculpting. I have yes made a deep pit sometimes when the nucleus is very very bulky but I have never ever used the trenching technique, the sculpting technique, the divide and conquer. I have never used those techniques. What I have learned since day one is the most efficient technique of phaco practice that is modified vertical chop or vertical chop. 10% of the part is horizontal in my chop but 90% of the part is vertical. For those who don't know what we do in vertical chop is we just grip the nucleus from the core of the endonucleus from the phaco tip we use a chopper we put pressure in downward direction from the phaco chopper when we are holding the nucleus from phaco and pulling it up so there are two forces working together chopper is going down and the phaco tip is going up you use the phaco foot pedal position too or the vacuum of the phaco to pull the nucleus up and push the nucleus down with the chopper and these two opposing vertical forces split the nucleus in two here you go i'm burying it down pressing the nucleus down with the chopper and pulling the nucleus up with the phaco causes vertical chop the beauty of this technique is you don't need any phaco power during sculpting you put minimal stress on zonules you can establish a crack through a small pupil and it is much much efficient and time saving technique out of all the techniques that i have tried once you split the nucleus in two or three halves it is very easy to take the nucleus out and then implant the IUL. as i'm leading a super specialty eye hospital in my town i always want to do, wanted to be a brilliant cataract surgeon first and then learn anything in ophthalmology as I learned the beauty of cataract surgery, I just want to learn more and more and more and more about cataract surgery only because the burden of this disease is such that is the leading cause of blindness in India and the whole world. And what I have seen is doctors these days try to pursue other specialities before learning how to be a pro cataract surgeon first. That's what I want to emphasize. Pursuing cornea speciality, retina speciality, oculo or onco, you should be a brilliant cataract surgeon first. It might take you six months, one year to become a pro surgeon, but I think to, to just alleviate the disease burden you need to be a good cataract surgeon first there is no stopping to learning 
before you become a laser expert, before you become a refractive surgeon, one should always be a brilliant cataract surgeon first. Other drills, the other steps are just the same as other cataract surgeries. I have done the IA, putting visco, implanting the IUL. My videos are primarily for the residents, fellows and the junior surgeons who are under training. Because there was absolutely no one for me to teach me how important it is to be a good cataract surgeon. YouTube is such a platform that it, it makes the wisdom accessible to the whole world. I am glad that I could teach you something new today. I'll be posting new videos. I'll be trying to just teach you more of the basic part. I hope you like my stuff. Thank you and have a good day ahead.